little foggy today. It's not super dense, but there's a little bit of cold weather on the water. So dress for the occasion. It has been a little while since I fished Mission Bay. I'm gonna fish the neck breaker, the new A-Rig, and the swim jig. So let's go fishing. There we go. All right. Picked up a bite on that swing head. The neck breaker strikes. <laughs> Little spotty. It's a red flake back with like an amber body. Little dude, but really good to get one. Get everything back into position and we're ready to go again. Right there, the boat. Right at the boat, little guy. I'm on the little guy club right now. We gotta upgrade these fish. We're in the nursery. <laughs> Small ones, but getting bit. Very happy to get bit. So I'm doing a combination of two things. Casting out that neck breaker swing head, letting it hit the bottom, slowly reeling it over the bottom. I pause, I let the bait fall again, and the trailer and tail freely moving. Then I pick it back up, start reeling again. So I'm doing a kind of a stop and go cadence. I've already thrown a few other baits this morning, more moving baits, top to mid column, not a bite, not a touch. So then I moved to the bottom and that's where the bites seem to be. I'm gonna concentrate on the bottom until the sun comes out, then maybe the bass will be more up in the water column chasing bait. There we go. Got a bite. Did a little stand up fishing, stretching the legs. Felt pretty solid when I hit it. See how he looks. Decent little bass, bigger than the other ones. <laughs> Not a giant, but working our way up to it. Moved over to this leech style bait in a very bright sartreuse. The water looks pretty stained, so I decided to throw something brighter, hopefully to trigger those bass to bite. All right. Man, I'll sl that's a slow grind through the grass, dude. I'm trying to find these fish. Maybe that's where they are, just slowly grinding it through the eelgrass. bit of a wind on a little bit of a wind on all right another small one I love the color of this one though nice color though it's more of a yellowish tone to them dark and yellow I switched over to a different swim bait now I'm using that bad fish with the amber back the purple flake purple and blue flake body something different I'm on that 3 8 ounce neck breaker swing head and I changed out the hook to that 4 row owner jungle. So a little bit longer of a hook just in case they're starting to short bite, I want to be able to get them. So the hook is a little big for this bait but hoping we get those short biters. Alright, there we go, stretching the legs, <laughs> picked up a bite. Small boy club. So guys, I want to do something. Something I've been trying to figure out for a while and something that I've been working at for a while. I want to get the YouTube subscribers over our Instagram number. I want to beat Instagram. On Instagram, we have 39 and a half thousand followers. And on YouTube, I believe we're almost at 13K. I think we're gonna change the format of our, our content a little bit. And when I mean content, it's like, I'm, I'm talking about overall content. On Instagram, we put up a lot of photos. It's mostly photos. We do updates on what is going on with the company. We normally put that in the stories. Ah, 
Ah, excuse me for a second. We're bit. Okay, all right. <laughs> Man, the little guys fight so good. Strong little fish. <laughs> ah, he wasn't hooked up very well. Glad I kept the pressure on him. Weed through those small ones. So what I was saying is on Instagram, we, ru we run a lot of photos. We run updates in the stories about what's going on with the company. And we also give an update if your order has gone out. We typically say all orders from the Warbaits online shop have gone out on this date. And that's every day, we ship every day. There's just something weird going on with the Instagram application. Our reach is not big anymore. And from reading up on what is going on with the Instagram app is they don't want organic growth. And everything from our Instagram is organic. Every post. Ever since the beginning, we've had an organic growth. It's just been friends telling friends, friends sharing with other people. Our hashtags grew. We want people to hashtag Warbaits so that we can see your catches. But now it's like we've hit a wall and we can't get past 39K. And most of our posts aren't being seen anymore. It's completely odd. I know what it is. It's their business model. They want the companies to promote their business through ads. So Instagram wants money, of course. It's a business, I get it. It's kind of what we're not about. We're not really about ads. We're more about organic growth because then we know it's real. It's, it's a real thing. You follow us, you purchase the baits, and you watch the videos because you like what we do. We're more of an organic company. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm getting about with the YouTube is I, I feel like YouTube is very organic. The videos grow on their own because, you know, the people like the content, they like the videos, they like the, the fish we catch, the perspective we have, and so they watch the videos. So back to what I was saying about changing the content. Instagram's easy. You can put up a photo, write a caption, and you're done. Go back, read the comments, comments on the comment, you know, read the DMs. It's a great way to communicate. YouTube's a little bit more difficult. For one, you have to have content to edit to make a video. <laughs> That's the tough part. So we would need to create more, more videos, which, we, which I want to do. I, I absolutely want to create more videos, but I also want to make sure the videos are good. I just don't want to put up trash because nobody wants to see trash. So YouTube has a stories feature now, and I've been, I've been working on that. I've been using the stories feature. These are a little bit archaic. It's not like Instagram, so it's a little bit more difficult to see the messages. And I wish there was a DM so you guys could direct message me, because sometimes the comments get lost. When you put a comment on a video or a post, sometimes they just get lost down the, I don't know, Ah, dude, are we getting into them now? Are we getting into the fish here? I think we are. I think we are getting into them. Starting to smash it a little bit. <laughs> that one was choked, that's for sure. If anything, guys, they love this bad fish color. They love this bad fish color. I'll put a link in the description to the bad fish website, and you guys can find these swim baits on there. So really I'm trying to figure out how to get more information, content on YouTube. And if that's making uh, short videos, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Little short, little short update videos. I'd like that. There's so much going on with the company and we don't tell people what's happening that often. There's just, it's just so much going on constantly. It's fun. It's really fun to run a business. <laughs> I definitely want to always have these longer fishing videos. That's kind of the thing that I like to do the most is to have a full session fishing video. It's kind of my favorite video to make. So that way I can show you how, how the baits got bit, what type of day it was, and you know, the conditions, the circumstances, if it's biting or not. You know, today it was pretty slow this morning and the sun's starting to pop out. We're starting to get bit a little bit more. 
kind of thinking those fish are seeing the glitter in that swim bait now. So hopefully, hopefully that we catch some more fish. YouTube is more organic and I like that. I really like having a true following. You guys are subscribed and following because you want to watch the videos, you want to watch the content, you like the baits, and I appreciate that 100%. I love the feedback. Ah, feedback, we're bit. But that's what's going on. Let's get the YouTube above the Instagram. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and help us grow. And I appreciate all of your guys' support. Oh God, might have a good one here. Better one at least. Yeah, dude, solid one. Dude, solid bay bass. Solid one. Solid. I call him legal. Dang. <laughs> That's a pretty solid bay bass. <laughs> look at that thing. That's awesome. Let's get him into the sun. Get a really nice look at him. Finally. Solid bay bass. <laughs> Good looking fish. Very happy to get this one. Oh my goodness. That was a sick bite. Cast out, let it hit the bottom and then slowly started whining on it. Grabbed it. Let's see what size it is. He's getting bigger. <laughs> Square on top of the nose. <laughs> he ate it swimming. That's an indication that they eating it swimming. They eat the bait straight on. Get the hook straight on. There he is, little guy. Get him back in the water. Yeah. Good one, guys. I think we got the halibut. Yeah, we got the halibut. Not legal, but very fun to catch. <laughs> Little halibut. All right, let's get him back in. Very cool, very cool. Slimy guy, very slimy. You know they're slimy because they live on the bottom, so they coat themselves with that slick slime so parasites don't grab onto them or makes it harder for parasites and bugs and fleas, sand fleas, whatever, to grab onto them. That was fun fishing overall. I was able to get on quite a number of fish. I didn't think I'd catch that many. It was pretty slow at the start. Then as the sun came out, the bite definitely picked up. It definitely stayed warm and dry in the Aftco suit. This is their new barricade bib. It's a wind resistant bib. And with this system, I do layer. So I have on some first layer underneath, bib on top, I have the sweatshirt and then you saw me run the jacket. If you guys want to stay dry and warm, a bib is a good way to do it. Rock a bib and a sweatshirt, you're pretty much good to go. Today the neck breaker got bit. That's the only bait that I could get bit on. The fish seemed to be located on the bottom, so it was a low and slow technique, more stop and go. I did run a variety of swim baits, but that bad fish swim bait, again, was a killer and got bit more than any of the other baits. And on that neck breaker, I was fishing a 3 8 ounce with a 4-0 hook. So I upgraded the hook so I can run a bigger swim bait. In the end, I was running a smaller swim bait, that owner jungle wide gap, 
is an insanely strong hook and I love being able to pull on those fish with no issues. I want to thank you guys for all the support you're giving Warbaits and this channel we are growing and it's because of you. Online sales are insane every week. We're busy shipping every day. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, get out there, go fish and hook that giant. Yeah.